The rom-com is back, at least with this one movie, Ticket to Paradise. It stars Julie Roberts, George Clooney, and again, we have not seen a big tentpole rom-com in quite some time. I remember the days back in goodness knows how long, but a movie like America's Sweethearts that some of you might remember from the early 2000s also starred Julia Roberts. Back in the day, those were tentpoles as much as, say, some $200 million blockbuster or budgeted uh, blockbuster, and you just don't see that much anymore. Nowadays, you do see popular rom-coms, but a lot of times they are sent directly to streaming services. Netflix uh, is big in rom-coms. But here we have, uh, Ticket to Paradise. I know nothing about this movie except two stars in it, which again was common back in the rom-com heyday. But let's take a look, see what we think. I'm sorry. I think your things are in my seat. Oh, sorry. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Excuse me, ma'am. I need to sit somewhere else. We used to be married. Worst 19 years of my life. We were only married for five. I'm counting the recovery. In four days' time. Our daughter's gonna marry a guy she just met in Bali, millions of miles from home. I just really wanna kiss you. It's like I looked up for the first time and realized everything I ever wanted was right in front of me. She's throwing her career away. Just like her mother did. So I'm the only one who can stop her. She doesn't listen to him. <laughs> Champagne! Oh, two, please. Just leave the bottle. Thank you. <laughs> I won't let her throw her life away. We need to trick her into dumping him. As much as this will pain us both, we have to call a truce to make this work. There's been a lot, Steph. <laughs> Did you make a pact to not murder each other until you murder me first? We are here for you, my love. Yes, we're in lot, Steph. Yes. <laughs> Promise. No mean comments. Pretty sure you don't win anything for eating the whole pig. No arguing. <laughs> no passive aggression. What about aggressive aggression? Try to keep the snoring down. I have a nasal strip. <laughs> it's a mystery. You're so alone. Hey. Mom, Dad, this is good day. I'm supposed to see us today. You learned that to make me look bad. You don't need my help there. <laughs> Are you sure they're not sharks? Come on, don't be a chicken. We might be working with the sharks. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe I got bit by a dolphin. What's wrong with you? He said pressure. He said torture. So what's the plan? I say we steal the ring. How they look? Disappointed. Do you think we're wrong? We're not wrong. They're telling us the whole movie. This is literally the whole movie. What are you talking about? She found the ring. Where? In mom's bed. This is the whole movie. This like. Pretty good. It's not for the faint of heart. This is not his first rodeo. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Can we get something a little more age appropriate for these two? Here we go. Which one? There's only one. I see two. Oh yeah. Well, that was a great movie. <laughs> that was the that was the whole movie, right? I mean, am I am I missing something? Um, maybe they know that most people can guess the plot to this. Look, that was the formula to rom-coms, uh, even the most successful ones. I mean, okay, couple gets, they don't get along at all, they bicker, they fuss, something brings them together. In this case, it looks like it's the kids, uh, you know, who they, they're trying to stop this marriage. And so George Clooney and Julia Roberts constantly bickering, but oh, they have to unite for this cause. And then of course, of course, you know, the kids are gonna find out, of course they're gonna find out. It's like the trailer almost says, we know you're going to figure this plot out. We know, we got it. We're not breaking new ground here. But let us show you what a good time you're going to have watching this movie. And uh, I think that's up to you. Do, you. do you think it looks like a good time? To me, it looks like safe. You know, I, I mean, it looks like exactly what you would expect. And for a lot of people, that's, that's fine. I, I don't know if people are going to spend a lot of money to go see this though. Is this something that you and your friends would be like, yeah, we'll all pay $12 each for a ticket to go see that tomorrow uh, or this weekend? I, I don't know. I, I know I 
personally wouldn't, but that, I'm not really in the demographic for this movie, probably. Even though it is good to see uh, George Clooney. It's funny, I was, the other day I was thinking, you don't see George Clooney on the big screen much anymore. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. It's from the director of Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, which was a crowd-pleasing film. But the musical aspect of that film and the fact that it was a sequel to a popular uh, musical made that more of an event. Here it feels like the event aspect is here's George Clooney and Julie Roberts together again. I don't know, Richard Gere is kind of looking his age these days. I mean that respectfully, we all are, most of us. Uh, but I think the bigger draw would have been if he had been in this film. Um, as big a movie star as George Clooney is, I think after Pretty Woman and Runaway Bride, people would be up maybe maybe for uh, Richard Gere, Julie Roberts for Union of Sorts to some extent. But uh, anyway, going down a rabbit trail, what do you think of this movie? Not what it might have been, but what it is. What do you think? Are you in? Are you going to uh, go see it And I think it said October? Uh, let me know in the comments. As always, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys.